Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Dev Chatter. My name is Brendan and uh, this channel here obviously is Dev Chatter. Uh, you can see some of that stuff down below here. My name is Brendan uh, and uh, anywho, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started here today. Uh, I apologize about the slightly longer than usual intro segment. I had a couple of things I needed to take care of while we were doing our setup. I want to make sure I say hi to everybody that was hanging out in chat at the beginning. Prototype, uh, Fishing Dev, and uh, SNB, welcome. Uh, and anyone else that's just lurking around and uh, hasn't chimed in with anything yet. Uh, Ace Flames here. Uh, I, I love the uh, emoji that you're uh, using there in the chat. Uh, are those emoji or are they like an emote from someone's chat? I'm wondering. Uh, Crichton, good evening, good afternoon, and um, <clears throat> good morning if it's morning for you. Uh, so the couple of things um, that I want to talk about, if you are new to this uh, channel here, uh, first off I want to welcome you and let you know that you are, uh, you know, allowed to chat, ask questions. Uh, if you got questions for me or anyone else in chat, feel free to chime in with those. Uh, we're a fairly open community. Uh, I try to be open to ideas and things like that. Uh, so if you've got one, let me know, and uh, you know we'll we'll chime in with the answer either me or, or someone in chat if they get to it first. Usually here on Dev Chatter, what we do is we work on uh, live coding projects together. So this is an open source project that we're going to work on today. This is called our Dev Streams project, and it is a community site that we've been building. And all it does is um, really allow you to find information about live streams. Is the idea. Uh, we haven't pushed it out anywhere yet, so <laughs> you're not actually finding that information anywhere. But it looks like this. Uh, you know, don't don't mind. Like we, we haven't really done much with the styling yet, uh, but the goal is that you'll be able to use it to find channels that you're interested in seeing. So right now it's got a limited set of data, but you can do things like find channels that use JavaScript, and it weeded out the ones that don't use JavaScript. Uh, so you can find channels whether they're live or not, and that's kind of the goal here. Uh, the other thing that we want to work on is we want to make sure that you can find when streams are going to happen. So in addition to just knowing what streams are out there and available for you to watch, uh, we want you also to be able to find the ones that you're interested in seeing. So the way that we do that is we keep track of the schedules of these various streams. So for example, uh, Dev Chatter uh, has a stream on April 16th and it starts at uh, 1800 UTC. Uh, so obviously that was, you know, 10 minutes ago. Uh, so, hence why the stream went live 10 minutes ago. Uh, so that is the idea. However, I had to know that 1800 UTC is my current time. So that's the next thing that we want to fix. Obviously, we're going to change the display of this page because, it, you know, it, uh, it, it doesn't look that great as is. But we've just kind of slapped the functionality on here. Uh, and we want to make it look a little bit nicer going forward. But the first step is going to be formatting these dates uh, and times to your local uh, display settings. So it, both changing the time zone as well as the date potentially. Um, uh, yeah, so um, the, the question in the chat, uh, which actually I'm going to catch up to all the questions in the chat because uh, I think there's some others, uh, about whether or not we could provide a calendar so that people could add those into their own calendar. So like a calendar export of the streams that you want to watch or of a specific stream uh, that is on our backlog. Uh, you will notice that we do have calendar. Export calendar is right here as an uh, as one of our enhancements uh, that we are not considering as part of our MVP milestone. Uh, so obviously we could include it if we want to. So if someone wants to contribute that, uh, we would be totally cool with having one. <laughs> However, uh, we want to get the initial version of the site out first and then nice features like export it into your own calendar uh, we would do as a, as a separate thing. Uh, the challenge with exporting it into your calendar is that your calendar has to support um, the same understanding that we do that an event happens at a uh, specific time in a specific place. So, uh, for example, uh, my streams start at uh, 2 p.m. So on Tuesdays, my streams start at 2 p.m. my time. And that means 
that when daylight savings time kicks in or when it ends, uh, coming in the fall, uh, whenever that happens for me, my schedule is going to change for anyone that didn't change uh, between daylight savings time and standard time at the same moment that I did. So consequently, it'll look like I'm streaming, you know, for example, in Europe, when I started Daylight Savings Time, there was still a two-week time period before Europe switched to Daylight Savings Time, so it seemed like I'd started streaming a week, uh, an hour early for like two weeks. Uh, so there's some complexity with that sort of thing, uh, and that's why having a calendar is so important, is so that you can figure out when it's going to happen. Uh, okay, so uh, let me catch up on chat, because I know I missed a couple of things. Uh, people saying hi to each other. Uh, prototype, can you tell us where your intro music is from? Um, the intro music, uh, I think I, so if you check, I know I credit it on my YouTube videos. I thought I had it down below. Uh, if it's not, uh, that one actually is music that, um, that I got custom made specifically for the beginning of our streams. Uh, so our like intro hype waiting music, uh, that is custom for this stream. Uh, uh, Riley Dom, hey, greetings, welcome. Uh, glad that answered your question there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So today, our plan, as I mentioned to people, is to use Moment.js. Uh, and actually, while I'm doing that, I'm going to toss links both for our GitHub and our Discord uh, into the chat for anyone that is interested. Okay. So step one. Uh, Moment.js CDN. Uh, so... I am planning on going out to uh, cdnjs.com and grabbing a link to uh, Moment.js. Um, I don't think I want one of those ones. I think I just want these two. So we're going to grab the full one as well as the minified one. Uh, let's go ahead and put this in the layout of our project. So, uh, SNB, yeah, I will, uh, that, thank you for tossing a link in chat there for everyone, uh, for the details of Moment.js. Uh, I will be pulling up that same link in a moment just to make sure that we use it right <laughs> in a moment. <laughs> I didn't even do that intentionally. Uh, all right. Uh, do, do. Uh, good old, any, any JavaScript library that's got a name that lets you make jokes out of it, even when you didn't intend to make the joke, fantastic. You gotta love it. All right, um, yeah, that's just that. Uh, in development, uh, so in development, we want to have, did I, does it copy the, no, okay. I wasn't sure if it pulled the script tag with it, or, I couldn't remember. I don't copy those out of there all that frequently. All right, so we're gonna grab moment, and that's the full one. So that's in development, and then when we're not in development, uh, we want the minified one. Script source. Uh, so sounds good, uh, Will. What is it? Uh, yeah, so I finally put in uh, details about the project that I'm working on. Uh, and I, I agree, Riley. Uh, Moment is one of those libraries that was, uh, that was and still is super amazing. Really, really glad it exists. Okay, uh, so that should put Moment on the page. Let's take a look and see if it did. So, obviously I'm not using it yet, but I want to see if it ended up on here or not. Moment, there it is. Okay, so Moment is on here. Yep, there it is. And just for a quick check, let's create a moment out of that time. Uh, so what is it? It's new moment. And we're going to paste in that time. I apologize, that console window is really tiny there. All I did was copy the text uh, for a date and put it in here. And I just want to see what it comes out with. And because I, I can just really, uh, I just want to see, make sure that the format I'm sending back 
uh, out of uh, ASP.NET Core is going to just wire up correctly and I won't have to do any extra work. Uh, assuming that this figures out what it is. Uh, year, 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 month, 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 date, uh, time, it says. Okay, uh, what do they do? Do they say dot local or something? Uh, I'll pull up the docs that uh, SNB linked to, which are right here. So, uh, yeah, we pull it in and then. Uh, I don't necessarily want to format it a specific way. I want to get it in. Ah, see. Uh, I want to format it as. Like this. So format with like three and four L's. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, so format. Tuesday, April 16th, uh, 2019 at 2 p.m. Yep, that looks good. Okay, great. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use it for real now so it's not in that tiny little window and everybody can actually see what I'm doing, uh, assuming that I can actually open my window. There it is. Okay, so the page we were on, where were we? We were in um, uh, ch uh, no, uh, calendar. So we were on this page showing, uh, let's see, let's hide that. Uh, start time and end time. Uh, so I think what we wanna do is we wanna show the date it starts and uh, the start time. And then for the end time, I don't know what we do if we cross over the if we cross over the day so if someone starts their stream at night and they cross over to the next morning um i think i'm not gonna bother with trying to get that to display right uh for the initial version i think i'm gonna accept that it's gonna claim it's ending at like 2 a.m or something like that so if someone schedules a you know more than 24 hour stream we are we're gonna we're gonna accept that bug for now because uh, I don't want to deal with that one just yet. Uh, uh, why do I get the feeling I had to create something for ISO support in... Uh, no, Riley Dom, it didn't actually block you for that. Um, no, uh, Will, uh, so this is client-side uh, stuff. So this is JavaScript instead of C-sharp. So we do have a system handling things on the C-sharp side, and we're also going to have something handling things on the JavaScript side. Uh, so we are going to do both. Um, the So Riley Dom, actually the reason why it got you is because, so ASP.NET is allowed as a link. It's whitelisted here in the channel, uh, but you typoed it. So ASP.bet is what it is. What it, uh, uh, hit you for because uh, that is a that is a link technically uh, Nightbot's not super smart so you got to be careful with that uh, I have a feeling it has something to do with NBC and I so for me I'll check a repo I'm thinking it's in a shortly uh, we will never see a dev chatter 24 hour stream but uh, Ace Flames here that is true you will never see a dev chatter 24 hour stream uh, there is no way I could do a 24 hour stream that just won't happen um, I I am not doing a 24 hour stream fuel snable no 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 no, sorry, Calvin. Sorry, Riley Dom. No, just no. <laughs> do you have any idea how hard it would be to do a programming stream for 24 hours? Uh, a, a gaming stream might be possible uh, to do some of that. Definitely not a uh, definitely not a programming stream. Oh, man, I'd be so burned out. Yeah, thanks, Will. <laughs> yep. Good old, good old dev chatter. The lazy dev won't do 24-hour streams. What is this? Rawr. Okay, uh, so I guess alternately, uh, so what, is, what does Moment.js give us on that? Um, where are they? Uh, I had the docs up. There they are. Uh, so that gets me that. Will they tell me what time zone they think I'm in? Uh... A moment zone. 
Let's see. Maybe it, maybe it will tell me what time zone it thinks I'm in. Uh, wait. It's what? Uh, use what? But UTC offset and zone wouldn't be the same thing. Whoops. Minus 240. What? Alright, I'm confused. I don't know what it's thinking there. Um, let's see. Uh, leave the stream on as technically 20. Yeah, that's true, Mobabo. That's a, that's a cheater's answer right there. A mixed stream gaming and programming. Fuel Snable, I have thought about doing some... Uh, gaming and programming in the same stream that would be more possible um and yes calvin it would be totally possible to do a dev chatter 24 hour coding stream uh if we switched who the streamers were as we went along that would be totally possible uh so yes that 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 is something that uh i i would be uh willing to do at some point uh, why do you think it's better using C Sharp in the back end instead of full stack JS? Um, I mean, there could be a variety of reasons. One of them being I like C Sharp a lot. Um, and uh, the there's not necessarily much of a, an advantage just to use uh, JS as the, as the back end and the front end, other than that you can use JS as the back end and the front end. Uh, if you take a look at like performance numbers on ASP.NET Core versus Node, you'll actually see that ASP.NET Core is actually surprisingly fast. Uh, so do, a lot of people like to lump ASP.NET Core and ASP.NET in together because it's not not a lot of understanding about the separation there. But um, it's a, actually a, f uh, a new code base uh, that uh, ASP.NET Core is running on. And, uh, Will, uh, I, I think you missed some streams a while back, uh, but uh, Jolie cannot co-host. Uh, Jolie, uh, passed away a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. 240 is just, uh, minus four, uh, because they just put it in minutes instead of, uh, hours. Let's see, I want to open up this file. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What is that? Moment? What? Did we already have moment on here? Uh, hang on. What? Are you telling me? That we already had it on here somewhere? Looks like we did. That's funny. So yeah, I already pulled it in. Uh, I'm apparently ahead of the game. Uh, I guess we're technically running on a slightly older version. update that at some point um yeah no problem uh stream do 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 i don't even have a shader per 
Uh, you can actually find a lot of, uh, just go look up, uh, like, web framework benchmarks, uh, and, and, like, you can actually find a bunch of them, and they'll list ASP.NET Core and Node and all these various things. There are, there are a lot of them. Okay, um... So where are these values? So that's selected day, selected time. We need to um, either apply that value directly to this data when we get it back, which could work. Um, use the events. I think we'll do it that way. So our options are either we can adjust the data right before we display it, or we can adjust it when we receive it here. Um, uh, what is, what is the, what, what are events supposed to look like? Channel name, UTC start time, UTC end time. Okay, so we're not going to have UTC, we're going to have, um, start time and end time. Um, so... Um, oh, right, derp, JavaScript, um, so we're going to map this to new events that are, um, uh, event, uh, channel name equals event dot channel name. And I'm going to borrow that just so I can do this. Local start time. Oh, this is why I needed it, because I needed it there too. There we go. Uh, so this will be end time end time all right there we go uh, uh, yes Calvin we've been using Axios for this uh, project for quite a long time uh, when we whenever we started this project we put that in as uh, how we were gonna handle our uh, uh, API calls uh, so, whoops, I need to change that. I was about to go check this to see if it was working, but I didn't switch this. So, from UTC to local. Okay. Now, I haven't actually localed them yet, because uh, I, I want to do one step at a time, just so we don't, we don't cause ourselves any issues here. See? This is why, because then, if, if when this went wrong... Because we can't see it right now. If I'd made the moment change uh, as well, then we would have been out of luck. And we wouldn't have known which thing actually caused the problem. Uh, so. And then we'd have to dig into it. Uh, so, what's it not like? Um, can it read property channel name of undefined? Um, we must have gotten back no data at some point. I'm just going to toss a debugger in there for a second. Let's find out what happens. Okay, response, data. What did we get back? We have one, dev chatter. There it is. Okay. Interesting. So response.data definitely has values. Oh. Uh No, that should that should be the return value. We should be mapping that object onto it. Hmm. 
wrap the object in the map function. Uh, are you thinking wrap it in a well here first off I'm gonna do this undefined uh, okay so you're thinking if I wrap this In parens, it'll do something. Uh, let me pull up the actual console. Can I zoom that at all? I don't know if I can. Oh, derp. Oh my god. Oh man, you guys, you guys need to yell at me about this stuff. When I when I see sharp this stuff and no one yells at me. Oh, that was derpy. That was that was a massive derp. All right, there we go. All right, we still have some kind of an error on the page, but uh, it's certainly not that bad. Okay, unexpected token, something like that. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, that was a derp. <laughs> hey, Putska, welcome. Uh, Good call. All right, there we go. Uh, so now that we have that, uh, we need to, oh, change these to use, lo uh, oh, uh, change this side to that, that does use local, so that says 1800z, uh, because we didn't we didn't moment them yet, so it is using the new the new values. Uh, so this will be new moment. And what from moment do we want to do? Uh, we want, we don't want a time zone offset, go back. Uh, we wanted, um, I need to see what that prints. That sounds nifty. Hang on. That sound that sounds really cool. Hey Mr. Bubs, welcome. Greetings. Long time no see, man. Oh jeez. Hey everyone, this is Mr. Bubs. We love Mr. Bubs here. Uh just wanted to say I'm here with the Oh, that's awesome, Putska. Congratulations. <laughs> It, it has been a long time, and uh, I will apologize on behalf of the other side of Ohio. Uh, I did see uh, some 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 baseball games uh, that happened earlier in the month. 
Um, by that I mean like this past week. Uh, you still can't see him. Um, that's true, I cannot see Mr. Bubs. Unless I give him a call right now and bring him onto the stream. Uh, cause maybe, maybe he wants to join us. So, welcome everyone. Uh, if, if anyone is new here, uh, my name is Brendan. This channel's Dev Chatter. Uh, we've been, uh, we've been a thing since, like, February of last year or so. Uh, like 14 month old stream or something like that longer than that because it was early February even uh, so very welcoming community uh, feel free to ask questions anything like that uh, today at 2 p.m. today at 4 p.m. Uh, so you know what I'm gonna put a a time streamed well, we're gonna do that instead um, hang on they have a way to do this. No, not uh, not not from. They they've got to have a difference, right? Um. Hmm. I don't want to do so here here's what I'm thinking so they have relative time and they say uh, from now but I don't want to say from now I want to do from another one from uh, Moment relation to time other than now, in case you can use moment from. Oh, two now, hang on. No, 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 no. Uh, time to X, no, not exactly. Um, okay, well, either way, I'm not going to dig in too far to that one. Uh, yes, uh, it, Mr. Bubs, I hope work's going well for you, uh, to be honest. Um, good times, good times. Uh, yes, Janiska, we are working on times here. Um, maybe with a negative? There's difference. There's difference? Oh, yes, literally right here. Um, and what does it come back with? Yeah, but then I have to compute the words, which I thought it was going to give me the words for it. Um. We're going to try just a from and then pass in another moment and see what happens. Uh, or maybe we could just display it in time. Yeah, we'll tr we'll try it that way and see what we end up with. Um, uh, okay, so we're gonna try. Um, I don't know whether we want to do the first one or the second one, but either way, let's take a look and see what happens. That's the best way to find out. Uh, so, um, instead of just displaying that value, um, we'll call it stream length, and we'll say stream length is um, this value. Uh, and we're gonna diff it 
with the other value. And see what we end up with. So I'm going to list the stream length as another value after this one. So we're going to say from that to that. And then inside of parens, we're going to say n event dot, uh, what did I call it? Stream length. And let's refresh the page and I'll take a look at chat. Um, Yes, it was absolutely hiding in plain sight. Uh, that is not not that is not what I wanted. Uh, first off, that got us a negative. Uh, so Ooh. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to guess Dominac, but um <laughs> just guessing. Uh, let's try that real fast. So, moment, duration. Um, it's an end diff of start time. So, end diff start. Yeah. No, I think that's actually going to work. Uh, looking at how that structure is. Because it should be the end one before the start time because it is the larger one. Uh, but, that, but I looked at one of the examples on there and they showed A and B. Uh, with A being the one that was further ahead, so hence why I did it that way, which seemed weird, but I went with it. You know what? These start times and end times should, uh, we'll know because one of them needs to be a moment. So, we'll make them both moments. Uh, because we can and we may pull these out so that they don't live right where I'm putting them uh, And You think an as ours is a method we have available to us We'll try as ours See if that works So let's say as ours, and we'll write the word ours here. And I zoomed in a little bit so that uh, you can all read what this says. So uh, let's say uh, we're going to say is streaming. Uh, so is streaming from that to that. Derp. Dev chatter is streaming, uh, and actually, I don't want to say f I don't need from anymore. And we'll say until. Okay. Now these values clearly need some kind of different styling. For, for their display, but I don't know what that is yet. Uh, so we should wrap those in a span or something like that. Um, but again, I as I said, we're not we're not styling that just yet. So let's take a look at our changes uh, for now and commit some of these. Uh, so first off, let's make our branch. So Benric, we're gonna call this uh, time displays. Create a branch off of dev. Yep, that's the one we want. Um, so first things first, um, remove extra moment.js. Uh, include. Don't know why that was there. Uh, and then kill the debugger before you commit there, Brendan. Do Let's nuke the debugger. Let's get rid of that. That's taking up way too much space. Need more room for the code. All right. Uh, you know what? I don't. We're we're gonna fix this. I don't like the way that this is working here. Um, this is too much. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change up our map to actually call a method. Uh, we're gonna say this dot. Um, Uh, this is almost like massaging the data, but I'm going to call it convert data. Um, 
we'll say convert data to local. That's what the function is going to be called. So uh, convert data to local is going to be a function. Uh, and the function is going to take in um, event. Okay. And it is going to return back a new object. So turn the object. The object is going to be this object right here. Uh, and now I need to extract these uh, as, as values. So that is uh, start moment right here. So let's extract this. Start uh, moment equals that. This will be end moment. And now I can reuse them in a couple of places right there. And specifically, uh, I can say start moment is this one. And end moment is this one. There we go. Uh, so we now have start, end, and length. Uh, greetings, Paladin Fox. Welcome. Thanks for that uh, follow. Much appreciated. Uh, can we see? Can we live see the code in our editors? Uh, what do you What do you mean live see the code in your editors? Um, <laughs> hello world indeed. Hello world indeed. Okay, need that, and there we go. So now I think that will do what we wanted it to do. Let's take a look. Yep, okay. Uh, and just to check, here's what I want to do. Um, uh, how do I add time? That'll do. I'm going to add 600 seconds real fast and just see what happens to the site. Ooh, didn't like that. Hang on. I guess I did two things at once. That's what I get for uh, doing two things at once. I'm gonna toss that there. We're gonna reload this page and see what happens with this debugger. So let's step into that. Okay, so we come in here. We create two moments. Then we return back. Uh, End moment dot diff is not a oh yeah uh whoops that's because that was supposed to be on that uh, I typoed where I put that derpy derpy derp uh Let's see if it works now yeah there we go okay good. Uh, so we need to format this number, but I wanted to confirm because we did an, 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 an exact number of two hours there uh, that it wasn't just going to chop it. Um, oh, uh, yeah, so um, I don't actually, uh, I don't turn on live share for everyone. Um, I have live share available only to uh, patrons on Patreon. Uh, so they're, they're the only ones that actually get a live share link uh, in here. So, easier than just opening it up all the time. 
So, uh, the source code for all of this is out on GitHub, though, so you can actually take a look at it whenever you want. Um, Humanize is a uh, Humanize is one of the ones they've got on there. Oh man, see, so I need to dig into their documentation more. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, we probably don't want to go below minutes, right? Welcome, uh, Jamie Dub. Uh, thanks for that uh, follow. Much appreciated. Yeah, we'll try humanizing it and uh, see what that gets us. Uh, so we want to get rid of that. We don't actually want that. Um, so maybe instead of hours, we just humanize. Um, which... Well, actually, maybe we don't want to do that one. Relative time threshold. Uh, well, okay, let's find out what it does. Let's take a look. Um, so actually, I'm gonna put in my weird thing again. My uh, so our timing is not so even right now, and we'll take a look at what it comes back with. Ooh, it didn't like that. Uh, oh, that's because I didn't actually rewind it to the correct point. That needs to be on there. Uh, two hours, hours. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it says two hours. Um, what if I did it as like, uh, instead of 600 seconds, uh, which would be 10 minutes. We did like. Uh, what if it was uh, 1200 seconds? No, nope, still says two hours. That's an hour. So humanizing is rounding it to the nearest hours because of the size, I think. Because it is more than hours. Um. Uh, S&B, hey, welcome back. Um, we are, we're just trying to, um, we're just trying to get it so that, uh, our data is listed in nice human readable ways right now, uh, which Moment.js has some nice stuff for. Uh, and yes, uh, as s &B mentions, uh, relaxdaily.net is, uh, where our music is from. So, absolutely love this stuff. It, uh, the guy that creates Relax Daily's music, Michael, is is fantastic. Uh, he actually puts out new music pretty much every day, so um, I really recommend you check him out. He's on. Um, uh, he does YouTube videos of this stuff, so it's nice and relaxing. Good, good stuff. Um, the other humanize references so
relative time threshold of some amount. Maybe we do just leave it at hours and just forget about it. Uh, we're just going to leave it as humanized for now. And it, it's going to jump to hours and we're going to call that good enough for today. So it's saying an hour right now, but I'm going to get rid of this. And then it will go back to saying two hours. So not super accurate. Uh, did I not save that? There we go. Okay, I hadn't saved it. Um, uh, I think the average stream length is too long for human eyes. Yeah, that could be. Um, uh... Well, we can decide how we want to display it later. For now, it makes it available to us and we can tweak it. That's at minimum now a reminder that we can, uh, that, that that value is there and we can mess with it. Um, okay, so uh, add local display of time to calendar results. So we're gonna do that. And I did nuke my debugger, right? No, I didn't. Uh, wait, what are those? Ah, get rid of my debuggers. What you talking about? I totally committed that right the first time. Who made a mistake? Definitely wasn't me. I would know if I'd made that mistake. That was a joke. I, I did make that mistake. All right. Um. So that gets us our events. Let's take a look at the next page where we need to do this, uh, which is going to be on the channel itself. So right here, these results. Uh, actually, let's do the let's do the channel index page next. Index.cshtml for channels. It's going to be right here. Uh, so on this page, uh, next stream. What is love? Uh, welcome, Nate, uh, and uh, thanks for that uh, Twitch Prime sub, 11-month uh, resub. <laughs> with, with some, wait, do I, is my overlay, my overlay's turned off. Why did I turn my overlay off? I can't, I can't do my thing with my overlay turned off. No, no, the bot's fine. I just had the overlay turned off. Uh, I had turned it off previously. So there we go. It's back on. Ooh, that's an interesting problem. I hadn't thought about that. Because uh, they do duck below that then. Uh, let's see if we can't get away with this then. There we go. Let's see if that's better. They, those on top of it now? Yeah, there we go. Okay, fixed. <clears throat> uh, so the other funny thing that uh, that people didn't really comment on at all yet um, is uh, something else that I, I put on here that um, is quite funny because I want to do this real fast. Let's see if anybody notices what, what I just did. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No <laughs> Fishing Dev, uh, coming in with a Twitch Prime three-month resub. And uh, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. We've got the sub train going. Uh, thank you for spamming some hype in the chat for us there, SNB. Uh, that is correct. Uh, three-month is a new badge for Fishing Dev, uh, as your egg is finally starting to hatch. And, um, sorry, fishing dev, let me, uh, there you go. <laughs> yes, we do have a two-minute cooldown on that, so it doesn't just spam the whole time, because...
People do occasionally need to see what we've got on the screen, but... So did anybody notice the, the cool thing I did there? Uh, did you notice the cool thing I did, SNB? You said, ooh. I'm, I'm thinking you might have figured out what I did. <laughs> and the fun part is I really can actually do any any color I want. Uh, so uh, I set that up so that's that's actually all done with uh, with a canvas at this point. Uh, so I can I can put in any color I want. And uh, I was before the stream. So the thing. I, so if anybody follows me on Twitter, I was complaining about the fact that user secrets still is only convenient if you're using a web project in uh, .NET Core, even though user secrets is a functionality that should work regardless of what .NET Core project type you're building. It works in them, but it doesn't do anything except on web. So the interesting thing that it does is it... Um, uh, so my user secrets was so I could connect to Twitch chat because I was going to build a separate app that can handle this kind of color changing -y stuff. And the reason I was doing it as a separate app is then I could pass it to other people that don't want our full chat bot and maybe just want color changing overlays. Um, because then you can build a simple color changing overlay and just have uh, that little program handle it for you. Uh, Sushinator, you have lost all ability to type uh, as, as it is an, an E and an A as, as is written like right, I don't know, there. Um, but uh, much appreciated. Yes, spread, spread the love around and glad to see you're here, Sushinator. Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, make an extension. Calvin, what kind of extension? What kind of extension do you want? I'm not gonna put like an ex a Twitch extension for it, because then it's not really in the video. Uh, I guess I could make an extension on there for them to click the buttons to control it, but at the end of the day, you still need something running on my computer to adjust what that is. Uh, well, I guess it could be running anywhere. Uh, user Secret Manager extension in Visual Studio for, all, for other project types. I mean, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess you technically could add that. It just kind of really bugs me that Visual Studio hasn't just included that. I mean, wh why why is it that Web is the only one that gets that feature? Y yeah, exactly. Yes, it is. It is really annoying that you'd have to do that. That's one of those. I feel like Microsoft should just kind of do that one. Okay, so we want to grab next stream. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open up this file. Uh, nope, not not that file. That file. And oh yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, we get the data back. So you post that query. Um, that gets us our channels. And then the channels all have, so we did format start time, to do show incorrect time zone. Sounds good, I can do that. That's a to do I can do. So we're gonna say un new moment, uh, moment. And what else do we do with this? We want to dot calendar it, I think. All right, let's take a look on the page and see what happens. Thursday at uh, at noon. At noon. That is that is awesome. Uh, lo love how easily that worked. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sushinator, yeah, there's actually usually a very low, uh, low latency on, uh, on my stream because I run in low latency mode. Not everyone does. Um, <clears throat> let's see, uh, you can use user secrets in a console app, but you don't get the tooling. Yes, SNB, that's, that is, that is exactly the problem. So I am using user secrets in my project. Uh, you, you all might remember I, I did a little demo, uh, that I actually sent to Microsoft, like, explaining the problem you can actually just go in and change a console application, which we have one of those in here, don't we? Um, this is one. And if you change this, well, actually just any project really, if you just change that .sdk to .web while you're in Visual Studio, uh, it will suddenly let you uh, access the, uh, the user settings. And you can just go to the context menu and pick it. 
uh, because it switches which SDK it's running as, and boom, you're just totally allowed to use user settings out of that context menu. Now, it adds an additional file you have to delete, but other than that, it gives you the convenience. So the annoying thing is it's like, this is literally just based on whether or not you're using a certain SDK. Why can't you just open it up so it works on, like, any project? <laughs> it just it just bugs me, because the ASP.NET team does such great tooling for stuff, and I'm like, why didn't this get spread everywhere? Why didn't everyone get this? Anyway, uh, I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir. I'm betting everyone here is like, yeah, I wish we had that too. All right, so uh, localize uh, and uh, localize the next stream display on channel list. And last thing that we want to wire this up to is the page itself. So the uh, channel page itself. So let's go to the channel page, which, yes, still has some lore mipsum on it. Don't mind that. Uh, so this is going to be the details of a channel. So details of a channel. So that's right here. And we're going to load this file as well. <clears throat> okay. Where does it display? Right here. So we said local start time and time zone name. Interesting. Uh, ah, see? To do. Show these in the viewer's time zone. Um, ooh, did we load these there? Because uh, we already had the values. Uh, so we loaded these from, uh, from the page initially. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, this would be, why don't they just blank? Uh, that, that, is, that is a very good answer for that one. So the thing that just threw me off here is we're doing this in, uh, this is being done in the Razor uh, of the ASP.NET Core Razor page that we're in, uh, instead of being done in the JavaScript uh, as a separate request here. So, so we grab the live status, but that's really the only thing we pull. If we pulled the session, so we could pull the... We could pull the stream information. Alternately, this could get localized on the server. But I like the idea of using the same time zone localization everywhere. So uh, since we're going based on what time zone moment thinks you're in, I don't want to do the server one for uh, the UI display of the values. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Um, doo -doo. So our options then, we can pull channel details the normal way. Um, maybe then we should pull next stream and schedule separately. So pull those from the JavaScript and don't send them down with the initial page load. So I think we'll go with that. Um, Let's see if we can't do this with GraphQL. Heck, we've got SNB in here, so if we totally mess this up, uh, in theory, SNB might be able to help us with that. Um, so we'll, we could do another channel query like this. So let's instead of saying oh oh that's funny i was about to say instead of instead of calling fetch channel where i was going to be like we'll we'll do fetch schedule and hey what do you know fetch schedule is already the one in there almost like i was planning on doing it that way at some point uh yes dungeon smasher we do have a new layout um it is a very cool layout and i'm i'm gonna try to make this uh 
layout that I created available to like everyone. Um, but uh, for example, uh, just to demonstrate how weird it is, uh, uh, what is it? Percent twenty? Is it percent twenty-three that I want? I hope so. Uh, I think it was, but that was a poor choice on my part. Ah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll notice that I have full control over the color of that display then also, which is nice. Uh, yes, s and I, I did notice that we had schedule on here as well when we were looking at this before. Uh, before we jump ahead into that, let's pull up the UI playground uh, and make sure that we get our query right before we go any further. So let's hit the API and see what we get out of it. Uh, so first off, I'm going to pull this as a starting query. I don't want to pull the time zone. I want to pass in the... not tag IDs. I want to pass in a channel ID. Channel ID, and I apologize, that is hard to read. Can I zoom that in? There we go. Now you should all be able to read that a little bit. Can this... Ah, good. Fantastic. There we go. Alright, let's see what happens. So first off, um, channel query, channel ID, and I want to say... It like that. Oh, derp. <laughs> no, that wasn't the problem. Uh, variable channel ID of type ID used in position expecting type ID exclamation point. I had it as array still. Derp. Probably, uh, yeah, hey, SMB's just chimed in with, hey, you have it as an array. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I got the switch to channel. I got the ID parameter switched in there. Uh, Sushinator, your typing is back. You notice that you're offering small mugs in your merch line. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's for any non-developers that wanted to get a mug there, Sushinator. We have, uh, yeah, there's... So there, there are large mugs and small mugs. It's always possible that someone comes in here that, you know... Uh, it isn't it isn't a developer and just wanted to get a mug. So schedule, and then what's available in schedule? Uh, day of week, or ISO day of week. I don't remember which one. Um, local start time. Local end time. Ooh, that's a challenge. That's going to be local to the streamer. So do we have time zone on here? Time zone ID right there. Yep. Dang it. Did not mean to click that button. Let's collapse tags so we can actually see what's going on here. So we have... Exactly. I'm passing that. I, I did grab the time zone. Uh, the mugs are too small, but the Streamlabs mugs are good. Uh, I don't know which one wh which one you mean. So the, the large mugs from Streamlabs, that's the one that I have. It's actually pretty nice. Um, it is a good mug. Okay, so those are the local times for the stream. This is the next stream. Can I get next streams plural? 
Or did we not build that one? Let me check out the channel query real fast. Um... Nope, I'm switching over to Visual Studio for a second. Get channel future streams. Channel query channel uh, schedule future streams, plural, just like this. This is how I want it. So instead of next stream, I want future streams. And then I am going to skip and take some quantity that we will pass in as variables. Uh, so we're gonna say um, skip. is gonna be zero. And take is gonna be five and we'll go with five next streams so we need to add skip and take up to the top here skip skipo uh int i think is what it's called and dollar sign take is also an int and we're gonna say they are required and ooh time zone uh future streams i'm not gonna pass in the time zone for local time, I'm going to pull the UTC start time and the UTC end time, which I know are available. And then we don't have to pass up the time zone, though we could. RIP. Uh, can it be non-input type int? Uh, is it capital I? It's capital I, isn't it? Let me check chat. Probably someone telling me it was capital I. Um... Uh, those are good. Um, no, use future stream. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I did switch to that SMB. I, I got it. I got it. We're, we're there. We're there. We found it. Good stuff. Uh, and I do want to pull back tags, so that's why I have it included there. Uh, so the UTC time is listed right there for the future streams. Uh, there's the schedule. Okay, uh, so let's pull this. This is going to be our query because uh, actually I called it um, I called it fetch schedule, but we actually might be like fetch channel details or something along those lines instead. Uh, okay, we'll we'll indent over a little bit. Uh, so. Thanks, future streams. Uh, these need to get indented. There we go. Tags are those. Okay, so now for variables, we have. We don't want tag IDs, we want channel ID. And that is going to be. I don't have channel ID? Where did I get channel ID? Twitch ID? We use Twitch ID? Really? Really? <laughs> yeah, I know. That is a lot of indents, isn't it? Uh, we're defining the structure of some data, so it gets kind of large. We could put that somewhere else, um, just so it's not quite so crazy. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, no, because we need it to be multi-line, so... Um... All right, we're gonna have to find a way to get that value. So for now, channel ID is one. Okay. Uh, next one is skip, skip, take. Okay. So this will get us our, uh, which actually I'm just going to call it response, because instead of res. Okay, so that's the end of the post. So now we have the response, so we're going to say this dot 
um, something. Schedule check complete. That dot schedule. Uh, res data data schedule. say channel data loaded is the new name of this instead of what it was channel data loaded uh, which means that this instead of being fetch schedule is gonna be fetch channel data mounted uh, this fetch channel data Uh, SNB is correct. Uh, it is definitely worth checking out F sharp. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that'll make that call. We're going to get that value and let's just see what happens. We're gonna load up the page. We're not actually gonna do anything just yet. Let's bring up view. So here it is. Here's view. Let's reload the page. Let's see what happens. So view is detected. Uh, we got an error. Only valid in an async function. Okay. Where did I wait? I waited here. Uh, async function. Okay. So, should have gotten called, should have happened. Uh, let's clear this real fast. Um, so, that was the loading of the page. Where is. Here's our call to GraphQL. Response we got back was channel one data with tags, uh, future stream time. Okay, so it looks like we got back all the data that we wanted. So in data, data, and actually, I might not have checked the right place. Uh, it should have been data, data, channel schedule. My mistake. Uh, that was my mistake. We did not grab the correct data. <clears throat> uh, data, data, channel schedule, I think, is the structure we were actually looking at. Uh, but you know what? Just to be sure, I'm just going to toss the debugger here, and we'll see where it is. Debugger. <clears throat> Let's bring up the console. Whoops. Meant to bring up this console. Okay, so response dot data dot data dot channel dot schedule. There it is. Okay. So we did want response.data.data.channel is the one that we wanted to get that. Uh, yeah, the future streams on the Razor page were wrong. Yes, SNB, that is, that is correct. They're pulling from somewhere else. <clears throat> this is the one that we want. Okay. Uh, let's jump back to the page. We're going to remove the debugger for now. Uh, so that gets us our schedule data, and now we want this to be uh, loaded the same way that we do this one. Uh, not that one. This one. This is the one that's similar to that one. Okay. 
let's get rid of that. Uh, so, uh, we don't do local start time. Um, uh, how do I do it here? We're going to do time format. So we're going to make a quick method here right after this one. We're going to call uh, format time. And it's going to return uh, Time to format new moment calendar is that the is that the thing we want to do with it? We're just gonna calendar it. Okay, we'll just calendar it, I guess. Um. <clears throat> If we do anything else with it, we can do it back there as well. Uh, so, this is not event and events. This is... <clears throat> What's schedule look like? What's that structure? So that's a scheduled stream inside of this. So we'll call that a, we'll call it a stream, and it has these values. So I'm gonna bring this back here for now. Just put it there, just for reference. So, so we'll call this stream. <coughs> so we'll say stream day of week, which we're gonna to need to convert that, which I'm betting moment can do for us. Um, You know what? Um, uh, I did not see uh, the Blazer announcement, but someone mentioned uh, that it was potentially getting rid of its experimental status, uh, Sushinator, which sounds pretty darn cool to me. Uh, format time. Format time. Stream dot time zone ID. Stream dot time zone ID. Which actually, because of the complexity of this, I think I might want to format this data before we even put it on the stream. So hang on, we're gonna change this. We're gonna do it another way. We're gonna format it here uh, before we put it on the schedule object. Uh, so. Let's call this um, uh, Blazor Stream. Yeah, so, um, uh, yes, let's see what's going on. Uh, ASP community thing. Oh, must have been on the, uh, the community stand-up, I think, was today. Uh, is it going to be called Blazor, or are they sticking with Razor components? Um, I'm not actually sure. Uh, but either way, once, um, once, um, uh, 
um, brain start doing your thing once blazer actually goes like non-experimental and is actually a piece that's going to be in .NET, uh we will absolutely be doing some uh blazer here on the stream uh so we've been waiting for that point because i didn't want to dig into it and just have to spend all of our time uh you know undoing everything all the time so yep All right, so we're going to say, um, so moment, how do you do your thing? Um, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. <laughs> uh, Dungeon Smasher. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub, and, uh, welcome to the, uh, Chattasaurus Club here on Dev Chatter. Uh, please, please enjoy your hype emote and, uh, your, uh, Twitch subscriber badge here in the channel. Uh, as I believe that is your first month of, uh, subscription, you will have an egg that after three months will start to hatch. Uh, absolutely some hype in the chat today. Uh awesome set of uh subs today so very much appreciated uh mine is scuffed devcha hype uh ace flame seer uh what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. and uh <laughs> the sub train continues uh which i'm gonna actually have to guess here uh because you've been in my channel a bunch of times but th uh thanon or thanon or something like that would be my guess and you're gonna have to tell me so i don't butcher your name next time uh but thank you very much for the twitch prime sub uh that is some hype here in the chat today uh oh nice uh so i did get it the first the first time I w i'm always happy when i get it the first time uh, but please enjoy your uh, your egg as well as your emotes. Uh, we actually have three emotes here in the channel for our uh, subscribers. We have f hype, derp, and fail. So for all the different things that could happen, I could either mess up horribly, uh, I could do something derpy, or we could get all excited about uh, something. Who knows? Uh, I don't want first day of the week. I want... Um, I want day as a word. Does it humanize the day of a week? <clears throat> uh, wait. Wait, if the low cost sense money is... <clears throat> um, okay. What if I want ISO, though? Oh, ISO day of week. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> At least they answered my question quite quickly. Um, uh, let's hop on the page real fast and just type this in I want the name of the day I so day of week. Uh, yeah, there should be. Uh, you're right. There's a format option for it. You are correct. 
Uh, where's the section on format? Here it is. Day of week. Uh, so we want the 4D day of week. So it'll be format with 4Ds. Day of week is uh, stream dot which I'm going to pull ISO day of week instead of the one that we were pulling. Uh, so we're going to say uh, moment day of ISO day of week. We're going to pull the stream ISO day of week and we're going to say format 4Ds, and that's our day of week value. Uh, I said I was changing this to grab ISO day of week because this is available. I remember seeing it when we were in the UI playground, but let me just write this in here just to be sure. ISO day of week. Nope. Thought it was in there. Nope, it's not. Um, oh, 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 it's telling me the type. Day of week is an ISO day of week. Never mind, we're good. We are good. Uh, it was just letting me know that that was the type. That was the helper text I was misreading, and, and you know, it happens. Um, no one saw that. Uh, let's see... Start time is going to be okay. Uh, for this, I actually need time zone uh, conversions. So where is that time zone? Can I get the time zone by name? Uh, no, so SNB kind of moment is going to is going to guess on on the user's time zone. Um, the uh, we need to use the streamer's time zone to get the U UTC offset. Um, so. Oh, moment time zone. Hang on, this might be it. There's a se separate library uh, that we might need to use to grab this. Moment, TZ, that. Okay. Alright, so that's what we need to get. Um, um Um, yep, yeah, this is the one we need. Um, I could ask for the UTC time, I think. Um, 
but it would be weird. Uh, Crimson Green, you're going to do a project in Vue.js. That's awesome. Uh, good stuff. Uh, that is either uh, Gabriel8a. Uh, first off, welcome. Hi. Uh, you have a question. You always go to VS Code. You always use VS to code, but lately you've seen a lot of developers using uh, Visual Studio Code. Other than it being available for Mac, why do you think it's getting so popular? It's lightweight and fast. Uh, so I am actually running both here. Uh, so you'll see that I have full Visual Studio running here, and I also have code running here. And I'm using both of them interchangeably. Uh, I, I use them for a couple of reasons. First off, VS Code is nice and lightweight, so it's really easy to just get going with. And I can also tell a lot of people that are not going to go and install Visual Studio to install VS Code, and they can. Uh, which also comes with some added bonuses that peop that um, I can get more people working with me on this one. Uh, there are a lot of extensions to it. Uh, the other things, it does JavaScript better than Visual Studio does. Period. Visual Studio has so much just junk that's going on inside of it that uh, I run into a lot of problems with JavaScript in it, uh, including times where it thinks I'm using React and I'm using Vue uh, because it's trying to figure it out and be more helpful. Uh, so yeah, there, there are definitely some challenges there. Visual Studio is a fantastic product and, and for, for C Sharp, I absolutely, absolutely use Visual Studio uh, because it's really good, but VS Code is quite awesome. Uh, <laughs> Sniggering, you started your dev job two days ago. Awesome. I hope it's been going well, uh, despite the fact that you tossed some derps in there. Uh, ah, it's a place where the dev environment's awful to start up. Uh, I went to an organization where they told me the dev environment was awful to start up, so I spent my first day making the dev environment not awful to set up, and then I set it up the, the second day. Uh, because I was like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> that is a terrible thing. Okay, so... Moment time zone is apparently the one that we want. So... Didn't I pull the... There it is. So we're going to grab this. I'm going to hop over here and... Actually, is do I have it open in the Visual Studio one? Nope. I don't have it open here either. Why don't I have these open? Shared. Layout. Okay. Development. Where's not development? Here's not development. Okay. Um, whoops, meant to go up here, copy that one. There is development. Fantastic. Don't need that anymore. Uh, let's see. Uh, you use TFS and you use Git, you use both. That's weird. Um, with all these branches, etc., never really used Git. Uh, you really you want to use Git. It is it is wonderful. Um, Git is great, but you need a baseline of knowledge to get most out of it, and then realize you still have a lot to learn about. <laughs> SNB is correct. Uh, usually on the first day of a project, people tell me about all the problems with other people, thing not to fix in a day, and maybe not till the end of the project. Last job, you couldn't run the project in the VS. You had to run it from the console and attach when you wanted to debug. Talk. Oh wow, yeah. Well, that'd be annoying. Um, uh, there are a lot of styles for how to handle your branching and everything like that. So I generally tell people just pick one you like and 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 stick with it, uh, and tweak it as needed. Uh, but tweak it and then follow whatever you tweaked it to. Um, okay, so this theoretically should work. Um, So this should get me, like, current time if I do this. So let's refresh this page and see if everything blows up. Uh, oops, I left something incomplete. Uh, 
stream is not defined on the instance of the thing. Uh, what? Um, schedule. Uh, stream. Stream. ISO day of week is not a much. Oh, it's complaining over here because I'm trying to use these values that are not on them. Oh, whoops. Stream in schedule. I derped that. That was a major derp. Uh, what are the other values I want to have on here? So I have day of week uh, and then... We're going to call this... Um, Start time. End time. Stream dot start time and stream dot end time. Okay, and so we have day of week. St uh, start time. Those are commas, not semicolons, Brendan. And this is going to get wrapped in a thingy. And refresh the page, and errors mostly are gone. Uh, moment dot ISO day of week is not a function. What? Oh, uh, ISO weekday. Docs. You're telling me this doesn't work. Maybe it's the format it doesn't like. I'm gonna check out chat here in a second. I'm sure someone's yelling at me about what I'm doing wrong. Uh, Stream.iso day of week. Stream. I have streamed at ISO day of week written somewhere. Oh, derp. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, so there we go. So those are not the time. That's like what time it is now because I just put in the moment there. Uh, yes, SMB. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the derp there. Yeah, I I definitely needed that derp. Uh, let's see. So this is a moment from stream dot start uh, UTC start time stream dot UTC end time. Uh, so that creates them as moments maybe, but that's still not right because. Um, Um, what's the basic formatting that I want? Display. I don't want a, uh, I don't want a specified format because I want it to be localized. Yeah, localized format. Um, Uh, 
Um, well, I guess I can, um, guess I can just display the time, at which point we are going to be forced onto the format that I pick if we do that. Uh, so maybe we'll just grab something simple. Uh, so let's do... Let's do a format with our minutes, seconds, and I apologize everyone because I am going to do an A on the end of it. So, um, dot format. Format. I'm going to do that for now just for basic display purposes so we can use it at all because that was ugly. Uh, Monday, that p.m. until that p.m. Yeah, that's fine. Um, why did it do those times? Uh, you started using VS Code yesterday. Uh, that's awesome, Crimson Green, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's your new favorite. It's fantastic. Uh, your virus scan at work quarantined your EXE. How dangerous was your EXE? Did it do something really terrible? Because uh, if it did, I wouldn't be surprised. So... Oh, I don't have UTC start time. That's an empty value, so it's creating a default one because that value doesn't actually exist. We pulled back local start time, not UTC. Uh, local start time and local end time. So, invalid date. What? Oh yeah, yeah, I could see why it might not like that. Uh, so when I'm parsing, I need to tell it what format we brought it in uh, under, because that's why it can't figure it out. Uh, so we're doing it as time like that. Okay. So moment JS docs parse. Uh, I just need to tell it the format. I think I can do that. Yep, there we go. So we need to do it like that, except it's not date, it is... There we go. So it's... H-H-M-M-S-S. -S. And when we do that, we pass it in, we say comma that. All right, so 
that means that this is like that. So that's how we get that as a moment, uh, but it does not have the time with it. So we need to make sure that we've given it a time zone uh, when we create it. Um, yes, using time zones, moment TZ. Uh, okay, so let's... Ah, okay, so I needed to moment TZ and then pass in the time zone like this. Okay, so here's what we need to do. Um, so start time is going to be stream.local start time. And it's going to be H H M M S S, and the time zone is going to be stream dot time zone ID, and this should get us our local start time. Mildly complicated, but it should get the value we want. And then I still want to format it this way for displaying here. And then I want to do the same thing with the next one, but I want to use end time instead of start time. Local end time. Uh, let's find out what happens now when I reload that page. Let's see if we blow up. Boom, uh, time zone has no data for America underscore New York. Uh, so I'm not loading time zone data, it would seem. Um, this data has been packed and transported to the client, must be added to the moment time zone. Oh, really? That seems like a lot of extra work. All right, uh, load moment. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it this way load moment. JS time zone data. So that I think is where we were. No, I need all of them. I need all the time zones. Yeah, so I need both target and destination for all time zones. How do I load them all, though? Uh, Fishing Dev, take care. Have a good one. Um, uh, just download two files from GitHub and then output the files based on those two files. Uh, well, that's weird, Crimson Green. Uh, a lot of scanners these days just quarantine exes if they're executed outside of whitelisted location. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, actually, Dungeon Smasher. Uh, because... It's a nice, easy way to catch that for uh, just a general user and a non-programmer. Uh, oh, actually, um, um, OpenJS Time Zone CDN. Hang on. 
Are these in here? Oh, time zone with data. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hey, hey. Oh, man. Uh, time zone with data. We don't need to go into history that much. We just need, like, current, I think. So we're going to use this instead of the one we did use. Uh, which is this project, which has this conveniently right here. Is this the full one? This is the full one. I think that's the one I've got on my clipboard right now, which we're about to find out. Yep, I did. Uh, moment with time. So there we go. Oh, uh, Crimson, are you, are you, uh, psyched up for this movie? I am psyched up for this movie. I am looking forward to it. Uh, I, I want to see, um, I want to see that Avengers Endgame movie. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Monday, 2 o'clock p.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, so that seemingly worked. Um... Uh, I'll see. Uh, yeah, how do I tell it I'm somewhere else? How do I tell it I am somewhere else? That's what I want to know. Um, I don't see anybody in chat telling me how to how to do that. Yeah, format date in a specific time zone. Uh, yeah, I guess we can. Um. But I want it to think I'm somewhere else. Okay, so that's how it guesses. So it thinks I'm in America, New York, which I am. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not in New York. I'm in the America, New York time zone. So. All right, so we need to format next stream as well. Um, that needs to get reformatted, but the data is at least correct. And doing its conversion as it should. Uh, let's get rid of those. I don't need them anymore. Uh, so that is schedule. And let's say next streams. So... Whoops, that should happen last. This dot next streams equals response dot data dot data dot uh, future streams, I think is what it's called. Let's take a look. Future streams, there it is. Future streams dot map I'm gonna call it a session so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna say return this value and it's gonna be so we pulled UTC start time and UTC end time uh, so we're gonna say
Um, hang on. Take a look at the page again. Streams. That's very small. We're only showing the start time. So let's just show the start time for now. Uh, so we'll say moment. Um, session dot UTC start time. Calendar, because I think we do want to say the day. So let's just counter that. So that's start time. So be session dot start time. So if we go here, we do an li and a close li like this. We say we call it next streams. Stream and next streams. Uh, we're gonna say stream dot local start time. Get rid of this. Derp. Didn't like that. What did I call it? Oh, just start time. That's why. Can I read map of undefined? Well, then what's it called if it's not called future streams? Response that data to channel. Derp. Derp. I forgot the channel. Uh, response that data dot channel dot future streams. There we go. Uh, Thursday at that. And ooh, ooh, that's what it turns into if it's too far away. Yeah. Uh, I guess that is too far away for it to know. Um, because it doesn't want to say next. I guess. Uh, let's take a look at what moment actually says to do about this. Uh, calendar. Um, Same day, next day, next week. It's going to do that one. Last day, last week. So the, I need to customize the same else on it, is what we're saying. So same else. So we're going to do um, null, and I don't need those values, I just need the same else. And someone's going to murder me over these, so we're not going to write it that way, because that's, that's not how we want it, because day, day, month, month, year, year is not the way I read it, so we're going to do one that everyone understands. Because uh, we're actually going to put a word in there, and then that'll solve some of the confusion. So even if it's not in the right order, at least it's readable. Um, so let's do a shortened triple M. So we're going to do... Very first year, and then... Uh, I still want the time, guys. I still want the time. So we're going to say, ooh, 
do we our the question is do we am pm this thing let's do let's do this format Else was it? Uh, it did at, and then it did that base. It did that format. Okay, so that's what it did for me. So this might change for people that are not uh, PMT. What? Uh, what? Oh, derp. Because that's a uh, that's a time. How do I how do I escape something that's going to be in that? I guess maybe I don't. Um, how do I escape? Let's get characters, square braces. Thank you. Ah, uh, you gotta love documentation when it actually has those values for you. There we go. So we got it escaped. So that works. Uh, we can now display all of our times. So we're saying Thursday, uh, at that, Saturday at that, Monday at that, and then we're going to say April 23rd, uh, should I leave off the, I'm going to leave off the year. I, I just don't feel like it's a use case to know what year that next one's going to be. Um, if your next five streams includes one that's more than a year out, then uh, that seems a little crazy. Uh, you're right, I don't want seconds on there. Um, why am I including seconds? I don't know. And actually, let's shorten that. I'm going to do single. So Monday, 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. Tuesday, 2 p.m. till 4 p.m. There we go, that's way better. Yeah, alright, fixed. Good call. <laughs> Clearly, what are, you, what are you talking about? You don't have stuff on your calendar, you know, down to the second? Oh man, my schedule would get so crazy if I didn't do that. Uh, wonk. <laughs> it's very important to have a nuclear clock at your desk. If you can't get uh, your, your time uh, super accurate, your whole day will be just shot. Okay, let's commit this. Uh, so, this is adding the time zones. Adding time zone data to the site. Um, let's say adding moment time zone data to the site. Uh, let's look at this. So we're grabbing this in the time zone ID of the streamer. Oh, I need to grab this value. I need to get this. This is not done. This value needs to come from the correct place. How can I get that? Um, there are a couple of places I could look. One of them is the end of that. But I think I'm just going to do this. We're just going to add that as a hidden field and I'll just grab the value that way. So this will be channel ID. <clears throat> One thing I want everybody to notice that I just did here, because uh, this is a cool source control thing. Um, I copied this line here, uh, but then, and I added that, that comma there. 
but you'll notice the one I changed is not the lower one. I changed the one that was above, and the reason I did this is that uh, source control is now going to see line 9 as being added, whereas if I had done it the other way, uh, so if I'd done this instead, what it would see is it would see this line added and this line I added a comma to. So I don't want that, I want it to see a new line created. So uh, little things like that can make your source control just look a little bit nicer. So see how it sees that line is being changed and not the Twitch ID line? Uh, that is also uh, for reference why you'll see uh, in a lot of my code what I will do is I will have um, uh, when I'm creating new objects in C Sharp and things like this, uh, I will often leave the, uh, we'll say uh, foo equals one, right? And if I were writing it like this, um, I leave this comma here the whole time so that when I duplicate these lines, you'll see that it never, well, we're getting red squigglies from this, but Anytime I add a line, I never have to modify the previous one because the comma was already there. So, did I modify that file? I don't remember if there was a space there or not. It was not, so we're right back to normal. Okay, uh, so taking a look at this, uh, we, need to, oh, we need to grab the value now. I wired it up so we can, and now I need to actually go do that. So, we made that a hidden input that's available. We grab the value here, now we need to use it. So right down here, we're gonna say this dot channel ID. So to do gotten uh, these, I'm not gonna worry about just yet. I should probably extract them to somewhere, but I'm not gonna do it at the moment. Ah, moment. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, channel data loaded. Uh, next streams. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, so a couple of things that I might want to do is display some kind of a loading thing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put this in here. I'm going to say to do uh, show a loading message based on this. Make sure I didn't break anything with that change. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, so that's just a call to grab the data that we already have working on that end. And that's just formatting for the local formats. Um, changing the data from coming from the server side to the client side. I should make that complete by going down here and getting rid of the data at this point. I no longer need this, I no longer need that. So that means we don't need this, and we don't need that. Which, this doesn't technically need to be async anymore. Until we add something where it does. Uh, doo -doo, doo -doo. That still probably grabs way more data than we need. Um, Cause really, we just need... Uh, we just need stuff off of the repo. I don't think we need the aggregate anymore. Uh, but I'm gonna switch to Visual Studio for this. Uh, because I do wanna be a little bit more careful on that. Uh, Visual Studio would be a little bit better for this. First off, we don't need any of those usings anymore because we got rid of all the stuff that was using them. Got rid of the channel aggregate, we get rid of the channel aggregate from there. And instead of this, I'm gonna do a repo dot, oh, son of a. That's so funny, I just got rid of this being async and now I'm gonna make it async again. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so we're gonna say await repo dot get channel 
and it's going to be ID. That's going to get us a channel, which we're going to to view model and put it on this. What's in the channel view model, I wonder? Tags and Twitch ID. Uh, I'm not sure if I pulled those without pulling the aggregate. So maybe I do go back to pulling the aggregate. And get rid of the repo instead. Sorry about that noise, everyone there. Uh, remove the parameter. Uh, so that should be on get. Grab that. Kind of model. Okay, there we go. Um, try to export content from a concrete 5 CMS. Uh, I don't know what concrete 5 is, uh, but yes, pulling pulling uh, stuff out of CMSs can be a pain sometimes. I've worked with a lot of CMSs. I think they really are the right answer for a lot of applications, but not for all of them. Not for all of them. Oh, wait, hang on. That might be dangerous. I should restart the website. DevStream's website, stop it. I want to restart the website because um, uh, the site can't be reached. Uh, well, it will be once it finishes restarting. You just tried to load it before it was done, I think. Try that one more time. There we go. Uh, so now if I go to Dev Channer, I should see Dev Channer. If I go to Brandonius, I should see Brandonius. And Brandonius is offline, has no future streams, has no schedule. Did we get any errors on this page as a result of that? We did not. Good. Good. But Dev Channer is online, and that's the schedule. So Thursday at noon is our next stream, and then we have one on Saturday at 1 p.m., our usual schedule here on the stream is Mondays at 2, Tuesdays at 2, Thursdays at noon, and Saturdays at 1, and all of those are in Eastern Time. Um, we should somewhere list the time zone that we think that, that we displayed that in. Um, That is a very good point. We should absolutely display that in the time zone. Uh, hey, the Michael Jolly! Welcome! Yeah, we'll start over. Don't worry about it. I'll start from scratch. Okay, let's go ahead and and uh, just undo all of our commits, and we'll start over again, just so that Michael doesn't miss anything. <laughs> uh, let's see, so... Yeah, no problem, Michael. We got you covered here. We got you covered. Uh, let's see, schedule, end time, time zone. Um, you know what? I want to do this. Uh, moment. TZ. What do we say? Moment, time zone guess. Okay, um...
So if we guess, uh, so first off, let's do this. We're gonna bring this up down here. I apologize for that being tiny. So I just put that in. It says America dot America slash new underscore York, and I want to try saying um, a b b r s. No. Uses a zone object. Wait, uh, hang on. Uh, ABBR is not a function. Okay. So this gets me the time zone it thinks it is. So why don't I say moment dot tz dot zone for the guess and then say ABBR. to find oh for given time stamp time stamp for a zone okay um yeah so uh what that means is How do I display it, though? Um, moment, JS display, uh, time zone format. Yeah, I want to display the time zone. Hang on, uh, so are they saying that uh, that I could just display it this way? Uh, moment dot format. What time is it? It is hour hour minute minute uh, minute minute Z. Uh, oops. Hey, Gareth and friends, welcome. Hope your uh, F-sharp stream was fun today. At least I assume you were doing F-sharp today. If not, you'll have to let me know what you were working on. Because I, I want to know. Uh, so that is a totally unformatted time. Huh. Maybe if I'm using a formatted, a, does this one come with it? Okay, that one comes with it. So once we are formatted with a time zone, we should be allowed to add in the Z on the end to get it. So let's try it that way since they're giving us the value. So uh, I apologize, I'm in the middle of one quick thing here that I'm trying to figure out. And once I get that working, um, I will let you know. Um, Uh, and I will greet all of you and tell you about our stream. Uh, worked over there, but not over there. Okay, so we'll check it out. Uh, so welcome, everyone. My name is Brendan. This channel here is Dev Chatter. Uh, obviously, if you're here, you probably want to watch some live coding. Um, we do a lot of live coding here on the stream. Everything we do is actually out on GitHub at github.com slash devchatter. Link in the chat as well as down below. Uh, we are a fairly lively stream. Uh, we like to hang out and... Uh, chat about different stuff. Uh, we do live coding four times a week on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Uh, usually our streams run two to three hours uh, in that range. Uh, we set the end time at two hours because if I do need to, I, I try to stick to that schedule uh, if I need to go, if I do have a, a hard end time. Um, 
Most of what we do here is ASP.NET and C-sharp coding. Uh, we do a lot of JavaScript as well. Uh, most of the JavaScript we do here is in Vue.js right now. Uh, we tend to like it. It's a uh, pretty good way of doing things. We've done some one-off little streams here and there. We've done some uh, casual game development streams. Uh, uh, we built a handful of those. We often have worked on our bot in the past and various overlays and things like that. Uh, so, yep, greetings, welcome. Uh, uh, yes, uh, the Michael Jolly, you are. You definitely should watch the replay instead of, you know, uh, us starting over from scratch, which uh, I think, you know, is probably what you're going to do anyway. Um, it was all good, F-sharp stream, thanks. Uh, you sp uh, oh, Gareth, you do some C++ on stream. That's, that's actually kind of awesome. Uh, and, uh, Yappy Dog, hello, greetings. Uh, uh, yeah, so, um, I, I have mentioned that at some point I will do F-sharp on the stream. I didn't say, like, when. I never said it was going to be soon, either. Uh, I think when, when you asked me in 2018, I said it wouldn't be until 2019, which is still true. It is still 2019. Uh, so... Now, if it gets to 2020 and I haven't done any F-sharp on my stream, then you can yell at me, Will. Um, I mean, I guess you could probably yell at me before that, before we actually get to that point, but <laughs> but then I really would have messed up on that one. Uh, you're writing a bot in C++ as a way to learn it. Oh, Gareth, that's neat. Yeah, I have not used C++ in a long time. Uh, it is a good programming language, but it has been a while, and it has changed significantly since I last used it. Uh, since this is not a zoned time, I cannot pull a zone onto it um, but if I made it a zoned time then I could so maybe that's what I need to do if I just do it as that does that suddenly work nope because it doesn't know how to do that. So it's like, nope, today. <laughs> That's funny. TZ must not have calendar like that or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Um... Fifteen years? Uh, yeah, that that could be about the same for me, uh, Crimson. No, no, I've used it more recently than fifteen years. Um, I I've used C plus plus in less than f it, it has not been that long, uh, but it's definitely over a decade because I was not using C plus plus in two thousand nine. I think the last time I used it was probably two thousand six, maybe two thousand six. Yeah, that might be the last time I did a project in C plus plus. It's been a while. <laughs> Uh, Wicked Blue Ninja, hey, greetings, welcome. Uh, uh, just got back in my DeLorean, I do need to tell you. <laughs> Glad to hear it, Will. Glad to hear it. Oh, someone's got a DeLorean. Gareth, that's a DeLorean emote? Where did that come from? That's, that's nice. Is that, like, currently a thing, or just someone... Do you actually sub to someone whose name is Biff? Unless you have a uh, DeLorean. If so, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's see. So this switches from that to that, and that to that, and then this. We pull out the stuff we weren't using there in order to add it in here. Uh, so... Uh, move time... Uh, move uh, schedule and stream info to JS, and... Time zone with moment. Yes. Perfect. There we go. So that's actually pretty nice. Uh, you subbed to Biff. Uh, yep, yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> I guess it just makes sense that someone whose name is Biff is going to uh, have a, uh, a DeLorean in order to do that. Makes a lot of sense. Oh. <sighs> Very cool. So we got to do some GraphQL, play around with Moment.js. I am 
pretty happy with a lot of that. Um, what else do we have? Do we have any other time displays anywhere in the site? Uh, so that, that's displaying there. There's, there's that. Uh, oh, uh, in the My Stuff, we might want to change how we display it in the My Stuff. We'll take a look, though. Um, either way, I I think that's pretty good. 80s already? What do you mean 80s? 80s, Sushinator? What, what are you talking about 80s? I don't know what you're talking about with 80s. Uh, I should also mention to everybody that's in here, if you haven't clicked that follow button and you are enjoying the stream at all, please be sure to do so, as that's the best way to get notified when we go live. Uh, do, 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 do. I need to click a couple of buttons here. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we do a lot of live streaming here four times a week, roughly speaking, uh, as long as we're on a normal schedule, and uh, for that, we, uh, uh, do I have to share an IMDb link? No, Sushinator, no. Um, and yes, we are talking about that, that one. Uh, if you miss any of our streams, because we do four of them, uh, you can find them here in the video section on Twitch, or you can head over to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash c slash devchatter, and that's the best way to find those. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I've got links over there in the chat as well as down below. Uh, those are other good ways of finding out what's going on in the stream and what kinds of things I'm messing around with. Uh, lastly, I want to mention that everybody should check out our source code at github.com slash slash dev chatter if you're interested in contributing to uh any of our projects uh, i recommend you take a look over there is that is the best way to find out what we're doing and uh what is you know able to be done here on the stream uh and if you are planning on doing any contributions to the project i recommend that you check out our discord at uh that link over there which i'm not going to read it's in the chat and it's also down below the stream uh, our Discord is a place where you can chat with other developers that are interested in all the same kinds of cool stuff that you are, and uh, it's a very welcoming group, so I recommend you check it out. And Sushinator, I am well aware that is all, his name is already on my clipboard, as that is where we will be going. Uh, I do want to ask everyone to stick around, because we are going to raid Robert Tables, uh, but before we do that, uh, I want to make sure that I roll our credits. I want to thank everybody for coming out today. Uh, I had a lot of fun streaming, and... Uh, Hang on while I roll these credits. Because uh, I do want to make sure that I thank everybody. Uh, so I want to thank our moderators for hanging out today. We had Crimson Green here for a while. We also had s &B as well. Uh, I want to make sure I thank our followers. Well, we only got a couple of followers today. Uh, but then we did end up with a number of subscribers and resubscribers. Nate, Fishing Dev, Dungeon Smasher, and Thanan. Uh, so, uh, thank you for that, everyone. We are going to wrap up the stream here, but again, we will be back on Thursday, and on Thursday, we stream a little bit earlier, so take a look at your clock, subtract, uh, a little under five hours, and that is when we start on Thursdays, because we start early on Thursdays, remember, it's noon my time. Uh, so I hope to see you all there. We're going to be doing some fun stuff, as we always do here on the stream. Uh, I want to thank you all for hanging out, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>